Today I'm going to show you how to install Silver Frost Plato. First, we need to download the installation file and then um, install it and uh, create a, a simple program. Okay, first we need to go to uh, silverfrost.com. Silverfrost.com. Yeah, and then uh, you see you can try Silver Frost FT95 for free, right? And uh, by downloading the personal one and uh, go to this link, you see, uh, version 7.2 uh, directly from here. Yeah, actually, I already downloaded and installed everything, but uh, since I want to show you how to do it, I yeah, just now I just removed everything. Yeah, just wait. Remember the name. The installation name is FTN. Uh, 95 uh, underscore personal dot exe hmm. okay let's go to the uh, download folder and uh, uh, double click let's see what will happen yes and uh, extracting Prepare. Okay, just go to next. Uh, I accept. Uh, I doesn't matter. And just go uh, next. Uh, you can integrate with uh, Visual Studio, but uh, it doesn't matter because for this uh, IDE uh, is a standalone IDE. Don't worry about integration with other. Uh, Visual Studio or uh, Eclipse or other uh, IDEs. Yeah, that means with uh, uh, Silver Frost, uh, yeah, Plato, actually Plato, uh, yeah, you can use it by itself. You see, because, yeah, this is the proof, uh, yeah, already installed uh, Silver Frost. Because before I just integrate with Visual Studio, my Visual Studio, so need to remove this one. I'll pause a little bit and then. Okay, <coughs> it says, uh, yeah, this one Silver Frost has been successfully installed, and uh, some students may see that uh, you don't need to remove the. Uh, connection integration with uh, uh, with your studio. Yeah, that means that you don't need because you never never installed uh, Silver Frost. So it's finished. And uh, yeah. let's check the desktop. Oh, we cannot find the um, Silver Frost. And uh, also, let's try if uh, we can search and find it. Silver. Uh, frost is it there? No, it's not there. Why? Yeah, because uh, actually the IDE, the name for IDE is Plato IDE. Okay, yeah, you see, Silver Frost uh, Plato IDE, right? So, um, next, let me show you how to create a new uh, Fortran program. Yeah, actually, this will be the maybe the first one, uh, first Fortran program for you, but uh, may may not be the first one for me, right? So, uh, but still, I want to write something like uh, my first uh, program, um, my first program. So, uh, you see, we use uh, exclamation part, uh, mark. Uh, it's a kind of comment. It's like uh, uh, slash. Yeah, double slash um, uh, in C plus plus or uh, Java. So next, we need to give the name uh, for the program. Actually, program first uh, is the main uh, program. Okay, how to print something? 
Uh, actually, in all the languages, we have uh, learned the first one would be uh, hello world, but uh, I want to change my mind for this time. Maybe we can do something differently, but not much difference. This is my first um, program. And then just end it. Uh, you see, this is like ending, right? You need to make a like a pair program first and uh, end program first and then we can save it you see the extension for the uh, program for the Fortran program is uh, F95 uh, oh, yeah I already have uh, um, um, how to do program right yeah just do this way my first Fortran <laughs> okay, just save it and uh, how to write. We need to first need to build it. Let's see, you see, completion, compilation, and the linking completed. And then still I need to go to the build menu and uh, start run. Since this is a free edition, <laughs> it will show us something, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, we can already see the uh, output of the console uh, window, and uh, if we return, it will close the window. Okay, yeah, that's all. Yeah, I only want to show you how to install Silver first. Plato, remember, uh, when you install it, it's called uh, Plato. Uh, and uh, uh, how to download it, how to install it, and how to create the uh, first uh, program. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. Bye-bye.